What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Infinite Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Controlled Demolition, which is in co-op, destroy four fuel silos within five seconds at either Ransom Keep or the Forge of Tish. So we are going to do this at Ransom Keep. You come across this outpost earlier in the game, then you do Forge of Tish. This could be done on any difficulty, you could have any skulls on that you want, and obviously you need to be doing this with at least one other person, because it has to be done in co-op. Ideally you'll have four people... And you could all take out one all at the same time, but you could actually do this with one person playing and just have one guy signed in and not moving at all, just totally idle. So this is an option if you have an extra Xbox or PC lying around, you could sign a second account in and actually get this with just you and a second account that's signed in and not moving at all. But the first thing we want to do is get the right weapons. We want to have the tank gun and a rocket launcher. So first we'll get the tank gun by pulling up our tack map. We will restart the mission recovery, and that will bring us to Outpost Tremonius. You actually start back at Outpost Tremonius and then quickly fly to the recovery section where you actually fulfill the rest of the mission. But you do start at Outpost Tremonius where you can get the tank gun really quickly and easily. And you can see I have the skulls Bandana, Boom, and Cowbell on, so throw those on if you have them available. They help out a little bit. You'll spawn in here facing the Pelican. Don't walk into the Pelican and go to the next part of the mission just yet. Turn around and go up on top of this ship, and you'll go to the second turret on the left over here, and you'll be able to grab the tank gun right on the tip of this gun. So go on the tip of the gun, grab the tank gun, and we will now pull up the map again. We're going to go get rockets. You could call in rockets if you have enough valor at any of the fobs you have captured, but if you don't have enough valor to call in rockets just yet, you could go to the Pelican Down mission here, and this will have a rocket launcher available for you in the middle of the map here, so I'll show you how to get that. Once again, we are facing in the wrong direction off the spawn, so you want to turn around and then run in this direction. Towards the left, there's going to be a bunch of wreckage. There's wreckage really all over the place here, but go towards the left, and we're going to climb up into this structure, and there's going to be a Hydra on the left and a rocket launcher on the right. So you want to grab the rocket launcher. As we go through that doorway, just turn around. You'll see it sitting right here. And now we can travel back to Ransom Keep to start this off. What I like to do for this is to just totally ignore the silos right off the bat. The reason for that is once you start taking out one of the silos, the others will go down into the ground, and that way you don't have a lot of time to get all your shots off that you need to get off. So what I like to do is clear out all the enemies in the base, and then I pull up all the silos, because the silos go back down once they're made aware of your presence here. The silos will sink down into the ground, clear out all the enemies, then just get all the silos back up by hitting the uh, manual release or whatever it is. They'll rise back up. They'll all just stay up from that point on so you don't have to time your shots uh, as much in that scenario. And you don't have to worry about the enemy shooting at you while you're trying to place your shots on the silos, so that's always nice. And you definitely want to wait until all the enemies are dead before you pull up the silos because you might accidentally shoot and damage one of the silos before you actually want to start, which ended up happening to me actually, so I had to restart the mission. If you end up failing and needing to restart, you could just hit the restart mission function, just hit pause and then restart mission. If you haven't actually completed this yet, you won't have that option, so just finish the mission and then you'll have the option to restart from scratch. But if you already completed it once, just hit restart right away as soon as you failed for whatever reason. But I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here. I've just cleared out all the enemies in the base, so I don't have to worry about any of those guys anymore. Now that all the enemies are dead, we will run up to each of these controls and activate them to get the silos to rise up out of the ground. There's one for each silo, so there's four total. We just activated one right there. That will get the first to rise up. It doesn't matter what order you activate them in. Uh, we just want all four of the silos showing all at once so we could take them all out within five seconds of each other and you can see these silos are now lit up that is because I'm using my scan function so if you're not sure exactly where these things are uh, just hit the scan function and it always shows you your objective uh, by highlighting you know whatever it is you need to go interact with so we've activated three of the silos we need to run over here now and this will get the fourth one to come up out of the ground and then we could kind of go in the middle of the map and uh, figure out where we want to shoot first and second third and fourth so we're gonna activate that we're going to run up onto this uh, pelican over here that's down on the ground. And from here, we could see all four of these silos. And the thing you want to aim for is the kind of red glowing part within the silo. That's the most vulnerable part, especially if you're using the rocket launcher. Sometimes you could hit the silo with a rocket, and it damages it almost all the way to the point of exploding, but not quite enough. So you definitely want to avoid this big thing that I'm looking at on the side of the silo. You can see there's a big chunk of some extra metal on that side, so you definitely don't want to shoot that because that will uh, help protect the silo. So what we want to do is shoot a rocket on the first one, then switch to your tank gun for the second, switch to your rockets for the third, and then switch to your tank gun for the fourth. So we're going to do rocket right there at the glowing part, tank, switch back to rockets and shoot at the glowing part again, and then tank. You can see that I was jumping and shooting mid-air with the tank gun. You definitely want to do that because sometimes your shot will just 
shoot right down into the ground right in front of you if you are uh, not jumping. The reason for that is the tank gun shell actually comes out much lower than a typical bullet would out of a gun you're holding in your hands. But that's all there is. Again, if you fail, you could always just restart the mission, set it up again. And if you don't have the luxury of having a spare PC or an Xbox to kind of sign in a second account like I did here, you could always head to the HC Discord, which was essentially made for these types of achievements within Halo. It's basically a community of Halo achievement hunters that team up and help each other out for, you know, achievements that you can't really get easily on your own. So check out the link in the description for that. The HC Discord is what you're looking for. That's it for this one, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys, if you found that video helpful be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You could also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides and I'll see you in the next one.